rolls, berry pies, pumpkin pies, pecan pie martini. You have to clean the potatoes. You have to peel the potatoes. Flint corn. There is a green bean casserole recipe we have every year that I cannot live without. The jello that goes when it falls out of the can. Who's been wondering where the stuffing is? So yeah, Thanksgiving is next week. Are you ready? Because I am not. In this video, I'm taking Thanksgiving side dishes and making them all about the Enneagram. Do you know your guest's Enneagram type and you want to assign them side dishes? Planning your meal and unsure about what sides to provide? You're in the right place. Once, your first assignment, bread, rolls, biscuits, croissants. Baking is a precise science that requires you to have exact measurements. And if I know ones, I know that ones like precision and order. The other thing I think ones would enjoy bringing are the veggies, Brussels sprouts, carrots. We have peas at my house. Do you have peas in yours? Veggies bring balance and color to the plate. Bread, it's white with your mashed potatoes, with your stuffing, all neutral colors. But then you got some green Brussels sprouts and you got some orange carrots and it just kind of balances and brings color. And I just think that ones would really like the balance of color. In my house, we always have a yeast roll that is my husband's grandmother's recipe. So I don't have a link to give you guys, but they are delicious and they do require precision. It's a whole thing. But I will give you this great recipe from my friend Kristen over at Six Sisters Stuff. Three ingredient, super easy roll that you can make. Twos. You get pies, berry pies, pumpkin pies, pecan pies, caramel apple strudel pies, Dutch apple pies, yum. Pies that have whipped cream on top, pies with no cream whatsoever nearby. There are dairy issues for some people. Why do twos get the pies? For a couple reasons. I've said it before, I'll say it again. The world does not go around without twos. Their sweetest pie, so they get to bring the sweet, delicious treat. Also, we end the meal with dessert, twos would love nothing more to be that sweet memory you walk out of the day with. That meal just ended on the sweetest note, cherry on top of my Thanksgiving day. You twos would love that and you know it. I'll link to a couple of delicious sounding pie recipes that our Instagram followers gave us. If you're not following us on Instagram, what are you doing with your life? At Leanne and Michelle, it is a party over there. Threes would not wanna get mixed in the middle of the buffet table. They wouldn't wanna get on that whole plate of Thanksgiving, they wouldn't be like, that one little thing on the side over there is what I contributed. They want a moment that wows people and impresses them. The Enneagram threes should be providing custom cocktails for the evening. I looked up Thanksgiving cocktails and look at this list from Delish. Oh my gosh, pumpkin spice mules, yes please. Apple cider mimosa, yum. Pecan pie martini, I'd try it. Photogenic, they're great for the gram, they please everybody, and threes get their moment. There's no tryptophan ruining their moment, no. Enneagram fours, you guys get the mashed potatoes. Why? I have a good reason for this. Mashed potatoes are something we all have to have. It's a no-brainer, you have to have mashed potatoes at your Thanksgiving table. It's a great side dish to take your time with, okay? There's no rushing of the mashed potatoes if you do it right. You have to clean the potatoes. You have to peel the potatoes. You have to cut up the potatoes. Fours can do all of this while envisioning themselves on the set of Far and Away. The coast of Ireland, Nicole Kidman, running in the tall grass along the cliffs of Moor. And they're in the middle of the potato famine, yet grateful for this bounty of potatoes that somehow was provided to them. The children gather around and look up at the mother with happy tears streaming down their little faces. Your husband is looking lovingly at you, so proud of himself for being able to provide this bounty of potatoes for his family. This precious resource will feed your family of seven children, all with freckles and red hair, of course. I don't, I don't get how they get there so fast, but they do. Six sister stuff coming in again hot with a make ahead mashed potato recipe. Yes, please. Uh, anything I can do to alleviate some chores on the day of Thanksgiving, I am here for. Enneagram fives, they will provide the corn. Why will they provide corn? Because corn is really the only thing we still eat today that the pilgrims and Native Americans ate at the first Thanksgiving. 
I have to refer to my notes on this one because I am not a five. According to the Smithsonian Magazine, it is possible that the colonists and Native Americans cooked wild turkey, but it is more likely that they had goose as the wild fowl of choice, or maybe swan, or something called a passenger pigeon. Yum. They also may have eaten eels and shellfish, like lobster and clams, and eels. But there were not potatoes. White potatoes and sweet potatoes were both introduced in the Americas much later than the original Thanksgiving meal. Also, there would have been no cranberry sauce. It would be another 50 years before an Englishman wrote about boiling cranberries and mixing them with a sweet sauce to be served over meat. But they did grow flint corn. That's a multicolored Indian corn, according to the Smithsonian Magazine. And that was their staple. So any Gram Fives are bringing the corn. They can bring cornbread, corn on the cob, frozen corn, microwave, a creamed corn recipe. They can bring any type of corn because it doesn't really matter as long as they have the opportunity to share their research with you about the first Thanksgiving meal and the fact that there was corn there, but none of this other stuff was there. Here's a little tip for those of you inviting an Enneagram 6 to your Thanksgiving table. Don't assign them what to bring. Ask them what they are bringing. There is something in the Enneagram 6's life that has been at every single Thanksgiving meal since they can remember that if they don't have it, it's not Thanksgiving. A green bean casserole, grandma's mac and cheese. You're thinking about it right now. Oh shoot. There is a green bean casserole recipe we have every year that I cannot live without and I will be making this year. I know you, I see you. Sauerkraut, that's my family tradition. The sourness of the sauerkraut balances out everything else and it is, nobody that I've ever met has ever done this. So if you're a sauerkraut Thanksgiving person, please drop me a comment and let me know that I'm not alone. Got a couple of great ideas for you Enneagram 7s that you are going to love because it involves fun stuff. You know those sweet potato casseroles, marshmallows on top? Enneagram 7s are gonna bring those, why? Marshmallows! They're sweet and fun, just like an Enneagram 7. The other thing the Enneagram 7 can bring are those jello fruit marshmallow things. Some people call them ambrosia. Ambrosia. And I could just see an Enneagram 7 walking in the house with their jiggly jello. Note that this video is side dishes, so no one is getting assigned the turkey, but if someone were to come in and say, uh, the turkey hasn't been taken and someone needs to do the turkey, I'm gonna do the turkey. That would be the eight. I know, cause I'm an eight. We're not talking about turkey, we're talking side dishes. So the eight is gonna bring cranberry sauce. Why? Cause not everybody likes it and not everybody likes the Enneagram eight in their family. Badge of honor, not everybody likes me and I'm okay with it. Do you do the, the cranberries or the, the jello that goes when it falls out of the can? Let the Enneagram eight bring it because they can make a comment about not everybody likes this, but not everybody likes me either. So well, here you go. Who's been wondering where the stuffing is? We saved it for the nine. Why do we save it for the nine? Say it with me. We stuff our feelings down inside. Stuff our feelings down inside. We stuff our feelings down inside. You don't like the stuffing? That's fine, that's great. If you don't want it, that's fine. I'm not offended. I only worked for hours on it. Now you know what to make for Thanksgiving based on your Enneagram type or what to assign your guest list based on their Enneagram type. And make sure you subscribe, stick around, and watch the more videos. Have a very happy Thanksgiving, friends. Eat a lot of food and make sure to drop links to your favorite recipes so we can all share in the yummy goodness the internet has to provide.